Hi guys and ladies, look, our lake is frozen over, but the temperatures are above freezing. So I'm here alone and it's a little dangerous to ice fish alone. Well, you can see we've set up a shelter at the end of the dock. So let's see if we could catch fish right through the floor of the dock and stay warm and safe. And if that doesn't work, <laughs> we'll go to plan B. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. So here is my equipment today. I'm using just a little sensitive ice fishing rod and reel. And this, it's an ice fishing lure with, well, you guessed it, it's got a mealworm on the end. And the dock is usually over seven feet of water, but the water level is really low due to drought this year. Well, I still think we can catch fish. Let's give it a try. almost five inches. So I'm gonna to try to find the bottom. I put a big weight on the end of this ice fishing lure just temporarily until we find the bottom. And then we'll go up one foot from there. This isn't working. I think it's time to go to plan B. Had a nice one. <laughs> I've been out here quite a while and I thought maybe nothing, but this is something. Wow. Oh, beautiful fish. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep them on the ice. Fish on ice. I just need a couple of fish to prove a point. Actually, I have a lot in the freezer and I wanna try a new device for breading fish. Oh, what a beauty! That's two in a row! <laughs> Fish on ice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Another good fish. That's three, that's really all I need. That's six fillets, wow. I got one. Yeah, I got one. Whoa! Oh, well, that was quick. All <laughs> right. Oh, it's a nice one. They're all so good. Wow! <laughs> Whoa, a big one. Yikes. Look at this. A crappie. Oh, wow. I'll fillet him. I'm not afraid to eat them. They're not the greatest, but... Oh, look at that guy. Wow. Let's go in the house. Let's fillet these and try that device for breading them. Ice fishing is like real estate. It's all about location, location, location. And once we got to the right spot, you know, plan B, it was easy. Looky here, I've got over a pound of these nice fish fillets, including that big crappie. Now I'm anxious to prepare these using a breading device that I've seldom used. Of course, my fish are going to be low carb, but well, you can use your favorite fish breading. What I'm gonna do is break two eggs in this container. A 
let's pour in a half pint of heavy whipping cream. And now blend it all together, whisk it up. I'm going to thin it out a little with one third cup of water. Let's put the fish in there. I'll put this in the fridge for just a little while. Now in this container, I'm putting a heaping cup of almond flour. Okay, now I'm putting in a half cup of coconut flour. I'm putting in a half tablespoon of onion powder. Now I'm going with a half tablespoon of just pepper, black pepper. Now one half tablespoon of salt. Here's a big half tablespoon of this uh, Mrs. Dash salt free. I'm stirring all this powder. You've seen me do this so many times before, but this time I'm going with a, a half stick of butter, not a whole, and I'm just gonna coat the bottom of the pan with a little oil. That's it. Let's see how this works out. You know that bowl I was using? Well, look, with the flour in it, it's really not just a bowl. <laughs> look, it has a little separator in there. So when you put the separator in it, Look at that, you put the wet fish on top, on the top floor, and then you just tumble it around with the flour in there, and it coats the fish. Let's see if it works. Okay, let's strain our fish. Now I'm going to put our fish on the second floor here of our, of our bowl. The flour on the first floor is now going to the second floor. But the second floor is actually the first floor now. Well, you, you get the idea. Now we're going back. Look, I took them out and I put them in a plate. They're not bad. <laughs> Fast. So let's put them in the hot oil. I've got it set to about 350, 360. Look at this big, big crappie. Let's, let's start those first. There's another one in there. Ah, I found them. We're going to cook these two minutes on each side. No more. Maybe two minutes on the first side, one and a half on the second. No more. I'm going to start flipping. Not bad. One and a half more minutes. This house smells like a seafood restaurant. Now that's looking good. Look, I've got a Panera raspberry dressing. Let's put some on these salad greens. Just a little touch of cilantro that I had left over. It looked good, didn't it? You know that famous celebrity restaurant and food critic and my favorite dinner date and love of my life, Miss Lulu Cheeks isn't coming over for dinner tonight. But don't worry, she's at home wrapping Christmas gifts for her little students. You know, the ones from the Culinary Arts and Food Critic Institute? And they'll all be at her home for Christmas in a couple of days. And best of all, I'm invited. Let's dig in. Crispy, crispy enough outside. Tender and flavorful the rest of the way. And now, some of the salad. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> Raspberry vinaigrette. It has a few carbs, but it's so good. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Here are all the students from the Culinary Arts Institute and Miss Cheeks. <laughs> Miss Cheeks, oh, I can say Lulu yes, now. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for having me over to celebrate Christmas with your students. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for coming. I got you a little gift that I think you could really use. Oh, for me? Yes. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's it's a gift certificate yes. for cooking classes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, mm. uh, thank you. Uh, can I have a hug? Sure.